When we think of gaming traditionally, that's where you know we're getting a group of people together, we're either playing a board game, we're playing cards, we're playing a video game, but it's for fun. That is very different from eSports. Esports is meant to be kind of an, an athletic equivalent, but the, instead of running around with, a, with some sort of sports ball, they've got to control it. With the traditional gaming pathway, which is the way most people end up coming into esports, is that they're, they enjoy playing these games. And they realize, you know, I'm pretty talented at this. Some people take their talent and they go towards fun. Other people, they take their talent and they get that competition bug in them and then they got to win. Everybody is very, very interested in this. It's a, a really a great opportunity for CBC because it'll enable us to field teams and compete with schools. Essentially, we're, gonna, we're punching above our weight already. My name is Trenton Remington. I am a speedrunner, musician, husband, dude. As far as speedrunning goes, I uh, primarily speedrun Untitled Goose Game. Some of the work that Trent has been doing with the fighting game community, like he's bringing in people who would never even consider coming to college. He's bringing them here and he's like, look, CBC is this wonderful place. We grow people here. You matter here. My future gaming goal is trying to spread the good word and make people happy through gaming. CBC's Game Club is open to everyone, but like really the only requirement is that you enjoy playing games with, with other people who love playing games. We play board games, card games, role-playing games, video games of, of all sort. There's no requirements, no experience necessary. Just, just come and be around like-minded people.